F1 2021 is here, with new and exciting ways to play and several improvements across the board coming together in our biggest game yet. Whether you're new to the world of Formula 1 or you're a long-time fan coming back for more racing, here's our top tips to get you up to speed. Let's get started. F1 2021 features multiple race styles to accommodate drivers of all skill levels. If you're new to Formula 1 or even new to racing games in general, the casual race style should be your starting point. Here, the game will apply several assists and other settings to help you stay on the road and focus on the racing. Once you feel confident in your driving ability, you can try out the standard race style. Almost every setting is now available and you can customise your experience to play F1 2021 in any way you like. If you would like to challenge yourself, you can now turn off each of the assists at any time and see how they change the way you drive the car. As your skill improves over time, you may find that you are faster with some assists turned off than you are previously when you had them enabled. Two of the most popular assists in F1 games are traction control and anti-lock brakes, also known as ABS. Traction control prevents you from spinning your car out of corners, whereas ABS prevents you from locking the wheels under braking. The expert race style is where the most advanced players will want to be, as it lets you fine-tune many aspects of your F1 2021 experience. For example, you have finer control over the game's weather, making it harder to predict the track conditions ahead of each race. I would recommend starting with the casual race style if you're new, and then switching to standard once you can easily beat AI drivers at the 50 to 60 difficulty level. From there, you can turn each assist off one at a time until you've mastered them all, and finally move to expert. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that certain game modes will override specific game settings. These kinds of overrides are most commonly found in competitive modes, such as online multiplayer, time trial, and F1 esports. As you can see, there are many ways to play F1 2021, but they all end up in one place, the racetrack. Let's head there now and get up to speed. F1 2021 features over 20 of the greatest racing circuits in the world, from the high-speed Monza to the tight and twisty Monaco and everything in between. Knowing your way around these circuits is the key to victory. The easiest way to get a sense for driving around each circuit is to turn on the racing line assist. This draws a coloured line on the road, guiding you on the best places to position your car ahead of each corner. It also changes colour to let you know when you should brake or accelerate through a turn. New for F1 2021 are colourblind options for this racing line, making it easier for all players to see this key piece of information. If you're finding it difficult to make out the red and green of the default setting, try out the other options and see what works best for you. Another great way to learn is with the track acclimatisation program, which occasionally shows up in free practice sessions throughout your My Team and career journeys. This program challenges you to drive through a series of gates at every turn, and you are graded based on how quickly you approach them. This is an excellent way to figure out where to brake, turn and accelerate through every corner, and after a few attempts you'll have a great understanding of the track layout. One more way to learn a circuit is to use time trial, where everybody competes on leaderboards to set the fastest lap times they can. As you drive around the circuit, you will see some ghost cars appearing ahead of you. One of these will be your personal best, showing you exactly where you placed your car on your fastest run, and the other will be your rival. F1 2021 will automatically recommend a rival that is slightly faster than you. However, you can also choose anybody on the leaderboard and race against their ghost instead. By chasing ghosts that are faster than you, you can learn a lot about how to improve your own lap times, as you can see exactly where other players are gaining time on you. For an even more detailed example, head into the pause menu and go to the ghost options. From here, turn on the rival telemetry mode. This draws a brand new racing line onto the road, showing you where your rival was on full throttle and where they started braking. By combining the racing line assist, practice programs and time trial, you will quickly get up to speed and soon be challenging for podiums. If you want to go even faster, however, it's time to consult the experts. So let's expand our knowledge with some more tips and tricks. F1 2021 is an enjoyable racing game for players of all skill levels. However, to truly become a fast driver requires a lot of skill, practice and knowledge. Let's start in-game, where you'll find many short tutorials covering the complexities of F1 2021 and Formula 1 in general. This is a good place to learn about the rules and procedures surrounding topics such as the safety car, flags, tyre selection and more. It's also a handy place to learn more about DRS, your multifunction display, and more advanced topics such as power unit and gearbox management. Heading outside the game for a moment, you can find many more tips and tricks on our YouTube channel. Use these to learn various techniques such as driving without traction control, turning off the racing line, or understanding how ERS works. You can also find track guides for each circuit with tips for all the tricky corners. 
Whether you're playing F1 2021, F1 2020 or any of our older titles, these tips and tricks will help you out, so I recommend giving them a watch. Finally, for more advanced tips and tricks there's no better place than F1 Esports, where the game's very best players compete on the world stage. These top level players extract every drop of performance out of your favourite F1 game, showing you the absolute best lines to take through every corner and the strategies you can use to beat your rivals. After watching their onboards for a while, you'll pick up all sorts of tips and tricks that you can use in your next race. Many of these players also compete in various racing leagues hosted by our community of players around the world, some of which are shown live on Twitch and YouTube, either by the league in question or the drivers themselves. If you have a favourite driver from F1 Esports and you want to learn how to be as fast as them, look them up and see if they make their own videos, as many are more than happy to share insight into how they drive so quickly. Now that you're up to speed, it's time to hit the track and take on the world in F1 2021. Thanks for watching, follow Formula 1 game for the latest news, and I wish you the best of luck in your next race.